Hello everybody and welcome back to the gaming den. My name is Tyler and today we are going to be jumping into a PvP with Sir Jellybean. Um, as you can see, I forgot to start recording straight away. <laughs> so we are actually a little bit into it, about four minutes or so into the game. Um, but I did remember to start recording at this time, so we're going to just go from here. As you can see, we, I've already back capped and Sir Jellybean has taken the center and i am already got a scout on the flanks because i am preparing to actually set up a flank as you can see in the top left there is uh, a top left of the mini map you can see that there is trenches where the uh, enemy point is and i want to take that point to cut the enemy off up the top which can allow me to then flank their top part in the north and then potentially if they take the center i can also flank the center but all I have at my disposal is a half track with troops in these are pretty elite troops that's why I'm using them and um, as you can see they're stuck on the on the tree <laughs> that's uh, gates of hell right there that's gates of hell um, pathfinding for you and I am moving driving it myself now because it's <laughs> a stop even getting stuck on the um, trees I'm gonna head up there myself now so jellybean is still battling out in the center they have no idea what I'm up to and I have no idea what kind of troops they have in this area so I think they've only just got a few guys a couple guys so I decided to unload the troops and I realized that there's actually a long way for my guys to run if they want to get into the trenches and storm them. So I decided, okay, let me just pop some smoke. Uh, I had a look at the half track, see if it had smoke, realized it didn't. So I grabbed another guy and uh, popped another smoke just to cover my guys' entrance into the trenches. As you can see, my half track is suppressing and killing the enemy troops. And now I'm getting ready to send my guys in. As you can see in the middle, the middle is being captured by the enemy. So Jellybean ha is losing it right now, but he's got reinforcements going in. So we will see how that goes. So my two guys there, I grabbed them. And what I didn't realize is actually that there is one guy I forgot. I forgot him back there. Um, didn't realize he was there, but it's a good job that I did forget him because you'll see in a bit. He actually saved my guys. As you can see on the minimap, there is a light tank coming our way. I just got bazookaed. Um, but my troops are already in the trenches. So we're going to head on and storm the rest of these trenches. I am direct controlling. This guy has an SG-44. And I, actually, I absolutely love this storm in here because I actually, it actually went really well. I don't think it could have gone any better than it did. Um, you know, casualties are to be expected, but, you know, it went better than I thought. As you can see, that light tank is now flanking my guys, and I didn't see this. I was too busy, uh, storming. However, I took that light tank out. Might what the AI did. Um, probably with a Panzerfaust. Yeah. Um, so there we go, storming, storming the trenches. Honestly, I don't think that this flank could have gone much better than it did. Um, even though we lost some guys. Hmm. This is where I realized that I'd taken a tank out and I was like, what? So, uh, it must have been that guy, yeah. That guy I just selected. Um, one of them, anyway. So I decided to get some reinforcements in. Yeah, so, so Jellybean is chasing that T60, I think, but he managed to hit it. Um, it's either a T60 or T70. Um, but anyway, I call in some reinforcements. I want to get, I want to secure these trenches. Um, and you will see later on in the match, it becomes an absolute bloodbath around this area. So um, the enemy is still really focused on the center. Like I noticed this with a lot of PvP players. They get so obsessed with capturing the center. Um, center is not all that. It's not, you know, it doesn't give you extra points or anything. Um, like there have been times where me and Sir Jellybean have just left the center because we still have the majority of the points. We still have three, they have two, even if they capture the middle. 
So, you know, right now we've got them quad cap. If they took the center, it wouldn't be that bad of a loss for us. Um, as long as we can stop them from, from breaking out of the center, then it's not really a big problem. Uh, as, you can see, as you can see, they are counter-attacking the trenches uh, with an armored car, and I'm sure the infantry is on its way. However, I have got reinforcements coming in as well. But it does become um, does become a bit of a battle up here. Yeah, there's the armored car. It's in the point, and it's trying to. So, my I pop smoke just to cover my guys coming into the trench. And I decided to grab a hold of a Panzerfaust guy, try and take out the armored car. See if I can get close enough. But I realise that he's got suppressed pretty well. What I should have done, I should have popped some more smoke. Yeah, so he must have seen that my guy had a Panzerfels and he's pulled the truck, um, the armored car further out from the trenches. Um, I'm trying to get as close as I can. Not that easy because I should have popped smoke. Now thinking back of it, I, he does have a smoke. I could have popped smoke. Um, didn't think of it in the heat at the moment. Um, but we're pushing on them. This is where I see this guy and I'm like, shit. So I just used what I had, which was the Panzerfels. <laughs> now I don't have a Panzerfels. Um, I have a grenade, but that's all I've got. But they managed to gr some some reason my guy blew himself up with his own grenade. Not sure why. Um, healing up my guys. I decided to move the MG gunner up because they're pushing now. They've got infantry in the trenches as well. So I move another MG gunner up to this point. Grenade goes in. Grenade blows up in the air. It's an absolute carnage. Yeah, not sure. I'm not sure how that guy died. Um, not sure what happened there. So Jellybean has sent some armored support. Uh, Stug 42. Um, so we've got some armored support now. I I spent all all of my points pretty much on infantry. Now I'm I'm kind of saving up um and I, I did call in a special call in which is the drilling the 15 millimeter drilling it's one of my favorite it's one of the best vehicles that i love it um it's probably my favorite vehicle uh for the germans like when it comes to light vehicles um the drilling is just an absolute beast like look at that it just absolutely shreds i mean i would say because it has he and armored piercing in my opinion it's better than the quad 50 uh, especially when it comes to rate of fire, but also accuracy. Um, it, I would say it's much more accurate than the Quad 50. And because it has AP, it can actually destroy uh, light armor. Um, and it can even suppress heavy armor. Um, I've used AP to basically stun and suppress um, heavy armor and medium armor. So it is a very good... Um, very good vehicle it's extremely lightly armored i mean you can take it out with a with a grenade but it has a pretty good range so it's a great infantry support weapon it's a fantastic infantry support weapon um this is where i asked so genuinely i'm like there's a guy in there and i can't get him and um, i'm like i want you to turn that hole into that but yeah i can't get him it's very frustrating. Um, but yeah, he's hiding the guy in there, which is, you know, that he can still do some damage if he's got any grenades left. He can still take out my guys. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, I think he threw a grenade, but, um, and yeah, I'm not sure how that happened. Um, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to move in. We're going to use these guys. We're going to go in there. That was Sir Jelly being trying to kill this guy. <laughs> it didn't go as a plan. But, um, got him. So now I can move these guys in and we've secured that point. Uh, this is going to be pretty good. So as you can see in the middle here, you've got T-34, A5, I believe. And so Jellybean has stolen a T-70 from the enemy. And he's literally trying to kill a T-34 with it. So uh, it's going to be pretty funny. This is like a fury moment right here. 
<laughs> just <laughs> he's out maneuvering the T-34 and he keeps stunning it uh, and then the guy misses this is hilarious this is one of the funniest things it's like a fury moment he keeps stunning it and he keeps like, this T-70 is a it's a never underestimate the T-70 okay it can actually deal some serious damage to you um, I think the turret might be a lot oh he just took two crew out with that shot and you're gonna see there we go he's gone he rage quit so Jedi bin managed to take out a T-34 with a T-70 by out maneuvering it and keep hitting it keep hitting it um, so now we're playing against one guy and the AI so and so Jedi bin just still using the T-70 to clean up the rest of the guys He tried to grenade. They're trying to come in with grenades. So Jelly Bean's got it covered. I just uh, pinged that, that mortar for him. But uh, yeah, I mean, like this guy still keeps trying, you know, he, he still gives a fight, which, which is really cool to see, you know, like he's still trying to fight, uh, which is very cool to see. Um, Actually, I believe that's a T-34. Um, boom, he takes it out, though. That's a good shot. So I told Sir Jelly Bean, I'm like, yeah, your stoop just got nailed. So Sir Jelly Bean decides to go for it again. He's like, I'm going to try again with a T-70. I'm going to take out a T-3485 with a T-70. So let's see how this goes. Ah, oh, he's gone. So there you go, that guy also equipped. Um, and now we're just playing against two AI and we're just gonna finish this, mop it up. Um, can't remember what happens here actually. Yeah, <laughs> he takes it out. He still manages to take out another T-34. That T-70 is, is a beast. Do not underestimate power of the T-70. There we go. Pack 40 doing its job. Try and finish this bad boy off. So that's basically it. T-70 finally got taken out. But that's it. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this PvP. It was a, it was a quick one. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.